To begin our sunrise smart start and happening today, the man arrested in connection to a homicide outside of an apartment building in Rochester is set to appear in court. That is 54-year-old Mark Burdick from Clifton Springs faces charges following the murder of 53-year-old Myron Fair, who was killed outside the Pinnacle Apartments on South Clinton Avenue in April. Police say that night Fair was in the passenger seat of a car outside the complex when he and Burdick got into an argument. That's when they say the suspect then attacked and stabbed Fair in the chest. Burdick was arrested the next night. He's due in court at 1.30. A new lawyer is on the way for a suspect charged with that massive quadruple murder investigation in Irondequoit. Julio Cesar Pimentel Soriano will appear at 2 in court today. Previously pled not guilty to murder and arson charges. He was arrested in connection to the August 31st killings of a married couple and their two young children on Knapp Avenue. His brother, Luis Francisco Soriano, there on the left side of your screen, he's also wanted in this case. As investigators believe, he has fled to Puerto Rico. Julio is also accused of a 2019 murder in the Dominican Republic. The sentencing is also coming down for the man who attacked his estranged wife and her teen daughter back in February. RPD responded that day to Mitchell Street for the stabbing call. Investigators say Doyle Rucker pulled out a knife, stabbing Shaughnessy Denson repeatedly before attacking her 14-year-old daughter. Rucker pled guilty to attempted murder and assault in September. He'll be formally sentenced to 30 years in prison when he's in court at 2 o'clock. And the man charged in a deadly shooting last year, he's got a status hearing this afternoon. Police tell us Eric Leslie shot and killed 31-year-old Vernell Rose near Pennsylvania Avenue and North Goodman Street in September of 2023. Leslie faces charges of murder and criminal possession of a weapon due in court at 3. Police need help finding a suspect after a long standoff unfolded outside of a corner store on Hudson Avenue. RPD says that officers were patrolling the area around 8 when they saw a man with a long gun enter a corner store near Pulaski Street. News 8's photographer on the scene was able to confirm and witness officers, state troopers flooding the area, shutting down several nearby streets as well. Officers say four or five people were in the store at the time. They were able to run out and into a business next door before police were able to fully evacuate everything. Everyone. Police say they did not find the suspect, but they did find the gun inside the store. A teen boy is recovering from a weekend shooting in the city's northwest corner. This happened Sunday afternoon around 4 at Clay Avenue near Lake Avenue. That victim, 15 years old, he was rushed to the hospital and is expected to survive. No arrests have been made. Sunrise traffic here before we get to your final forecast in a few moments. Traffic really heavy, picking up, but moving along at speed there on the west side. 490 getting in and out of downtown. 590 north and southbound looking good. 104 crossing through a Ronda Court right there at the border with the city. No accidents to warn you about. Our local election headquarters. We're just a little more than two weeks away from Election Day, so we got some dates to remind you of. Early voting in New York starts this coming Saturday, ending Sunday, November 3rd. You can stop by your local polling site anytime between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. If you want to go Tuesdays and Thursdays, those times will be noon to 8. There's a very important difference there. You can also vote early by mail. Just apply ahead of time. It's the same as you would for an absentee ballot the applications all due by this coming Saturday and have to be postmarked by no later than Election Day. Let's go inside the huddle. It took way too long for the Bills offense to really get going Sunday, but once that happened, the Titans did not have an answer for Buffalo. The only good thing coming out of the first half for Josh Allen and the offense was a touchdown via James Cook, which you see there. So we will jump ahead to the second half highlights now. Second and ten here in the third quarter. Welcome to Buffalo, Amari Cooper. Fresh off his trade from Cleveland, he finds the back of the end zone for the score in his debut for the Bills. And the defense also picked up the play in the second half, holding the Titans to zero points. Tamar Hanlon got his second career interception on this play. And what a day for the rookie wideout. Keon Coleman led all receivers for 125 yards. Bills would cap off this drive with a Ray Davis touchdown. They went on to score 27 in the second half. The final 34 to 10. They moved to 5 and 2 on the season. And next up, a long road trip to the West Coast Sunday afternoon against the Seahawks kickoff just after 4 o'clock. Well, it is just 10 days to go until Halloween. Hopefully you have everything you need, the candy, the decorations, and, of course, you need a good costume. Maybe emojis. Ron Spitz, who <laughs> joins us live this morning at Goodwill in Webster. Yeah, you got the, uh, the crying, the yeah, laughing so hard yourself. one. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, guys, I was just told that apparently Gen Z is not anything for They're not into the laugh, cry emoji. So I needed to represent, of course, every millennial that's out there. We're here with Jen Lake, the president and CEO here, who obviously went for something that people love a bit more, chocolate. Talk to me about adult costumes at Goodwill. We have a bunch showcased here. What can people find? So uh, we still have great costumes coming in every day. Uh, this is $6.99 for adult costumes. I'm a Hershey's Kiss. Sells online for about 40 bucks. $6.99 and you're shopping for a cause. Our two-in-one lifeline, programs and services for people who are blind. Uh, we also have our mustard costume, our average Joes from Dodgeball, a uh, classic movie, love that, uh, again. Uh, and then we also have our barnyard stuff. So we've got uh, a cow, uh, we've got a chicken, uh, and again, we've got costumes for kids too. Yeah, what's a, are, are we on the same price point? Can you find the same? Because to me, it looks like the kids are really, they're, they're, they've lucked out here kids we have uh three full runs of kids costumes 399 so we've got the evil queen merida we've got mickey and minnie uh i think that's iron man down there um <laughs> you know the evil queen uh again really you can find it all at goodwill and you're shopping to support our mission programs and you wear it once so again think about the planet and sustainability uh, we're getting new costumes in every day so things to look for i also saw some ho home decor items Item. So, you know, I'm definitely shopping around, guys, still representing that emoji we're talking about here for now. Throwing it back to you. All right. Thank you, Iran. Yeah, apparently the crying, laughing emoji is out. Yeah. Not cool anymore. All of them. Whoops. So don't do it on the text today. Don't betray right. your age. Leanne <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looking so worried. <laughs> I guess I'm old now because well, I use that all the time. Okay, well, join the geriatric millennials on this <laughs> side of the desk. Yeah. Thank you. You're there welcome. There we go. <laughs> use a bunch of sunshine emojis here. Yes, I yeah. 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 yeah, I think plenty. plenty. Maybe you got to throw in there, I think, unfortunately, one rain cloud for Wednesday into Thursday. But other than that, I mean, sunny emojis all week long may have to deal with some clouds some days. But overall, I mean, it is way better than having it just rain and be on the chillier side. 79 for tomorrow? Yeah. That's my pickleball forecast. Hello. Ooh, yes. Get out there and enjoy it. We'll see you back here in about 30 minutes, everybody. Follow News 8 wherever you are on RochesterFirst.com, Facebook, X, and on our app for news and weather.